Hey, what is up everybody? As we assess the carnage that I just inflicted upon these poor minifigs, we are going to take a look at my little snub-nosed automatic arrow launcher. And the design for this one is actually quite simple. I'm using these one by four spring-loaded shooters, which have become quite plentiful in the Lego universe. They of course have a spring inside so that when you load in an arrow, you simply press down on the back to launch it. It's actually quite a brilliant design and they are very satisfying to play with. I decided to mount them on these track pieces to create an ammunition belt. And by using a Technic lift arm and a couple of half pins, we can attach a single shooter to each segment of the track. The belt is fed through the launcher using this sprocket, which is connected to this gearbox in the back so that we can rotate it using this crank. And I designed it so that the crank can go on either side if you'd rather rotate it with your left hand. Or you can even connect a motor if you'd really like to get it moving. And as each shooter moves through the top, the back of the arrow is pushed down by this inverted slope, which causes it to be launched. Of course, it is pretty time consuming to load up all the arrows, but when we put it all together, we have this super fun and satisfying little handheld rapid fire launcher. I have tested it with belts of various lengths, all the way from this modest one containing 30 shooters up to this monster, which has 150. I also wanted to make it look and feel nice, so I did spend some time on the aesthetics, giving it some nice color blocking and designing a nice comfortable handle for it. Of course, you don't need anything near as fancy. In fact, my earlier prototypes were very chunky, but just as effective as the finished model. I have created building instructions for this one if you'd like to see how it is built in more detail or even build your own. As always, thanks for watching, keep on building, and I will see you in the next one.